Hi, for those of you who have nipples that you don't think that are perfect, I think nipples for breastfeeding are all perfect. I am going to demonstrate to you having um, a smaller shaped nipple versus a flat nipple, or you're either going to have a really long nipple. And what we can do if you really feel like your nipples are flat or need to be brought out and the baby's not latching, for instance, this is a flat nipple. And we know the definition of flat is no matter what we do, whether we pull it out with a pump before the baby feeds or have the baby try to pull it out, it will still stay pretty flat. That's a flat nipple. Also, when you do the nipple test, what you'll do is you'll compress here. You see how that nipple doesn't come out? That way, we also know. It's another sign to show that you do have flat nipples. So one technique that you can do if you have flat nipples is get a, a pump. And for this, I, I do like an electric breast pump, but in this case, we're going to use a hand pump. So we place the hand pump over the nipple, place it in the middle, and as you see, that nipple is just still not coming out. And we can pump and pump and pump. And sometimes a little bit of a ridge will come and we hurry and latch the baby on and then the baby can do the rest with pulling that nipple out. But again, this is a pretty flat nipple. The other thing and other technique that we need to know in order to pull out the nipple a little bit more is to make that, make a ridge. Kind of like the nipple sandwich like I've taught you in another. Making a ridge and making sure that that baby can latch on. Again, getting your fingers away from the areola and then you're gonna compress behind the areola. You're gonna press, see where I put more pressure underneath here to lift up. And see how we just made a ridge. Hopefully that your baby can latch on too with that. Now we have another tight nipple. And as you see, this does come out. A lot of people will still think this is a flat nipple. This isn't, this is actually great. I call these the flexible nipples because there's lots of compression space and there's, and we can move it and manipulate and make this nipple area appear larger. So let me show you if you do feel like you need to the breast pump to pull your nipple out. See how it pulls in, how nicely? This is not a true flat nipple. And as we take that pump off, that nipple extends even further. Isn't that cool? Also, when it comes to nipples, when I teach my classes to professionals, what I do is show them with analogy with candy. Now, a Rolo, some people have nipples that look like a Rolo. Some people have large, round nipples, like this Lind um, Lindor tr milk truffle. Then we have M&Ms that represent smaller nipples. And then we also have a peppermint patty here. And peppermint patties represent flat nipples. But it doesn't matter the shape or size because all nipples taste good to the baby. And also if we don't introduce other nipples such as a pacifier or bottles, then the baby is going to think all moms have nipples like this or flat nipples. And so that's just a little tip to remember that your baby knows and likes your nipple unless we've introduced it to a better alternative. When we have flat nipples, soon as we introduce a bottle to this baby and the bottle and the baby realizes that there's a longer nipple out there that actually feeds them chances of them going to a breast like this is going to be slim and also a breast like this we may need to use a nipple shield however we still need to make that ridge or the nipple shield isn't going to be able to milk the breast the baby's not going to be able to use the shield to get milk out of the breast if we just lay it on flat of that nipple. We really need to make a suction using the nipple shield and know if we use the nipple shield when we have such flat nipples like this 
that we're going to be using probably the nipple shield for the duration of your nursing. A lot of the times when I worked in postpartum and when I go and visit women in their homes, they've been given a nipple shield. And those of you who don't know what a nipple shield is, the nipple shield is that plastic, almost looks like a plastic bottle, and you place it over the nipple, but actually, again, you, you stretch it this way to pull in some of the skin around the areola and the, and the nipple into the shield, and that will help create that shield to get in more breast tissue, which means the baby can get on and milk the breast a little bit better. But some of the times when I go and see these moms, their nipples weren't flat at all, and there was really no reason for a nipple shield. Again, a lot of people get nipple shields when the, when the nipples look like this. As you see, this is a nice nipple. And again, we can manipulate this and make it appear larger and, and again, manipulate the skin around there. And so I just 